Let's take a look at how to create a new project in Vila Builder 7 Enterprise using manual capture. To do this, let's select New Project to open up the Create New Project window. We'll keep Screen Capture Project as a new project type. For the slide size, let's go ahead and keep Application selected so that we can capture the paint program that's already running on our computer. Next, we need to select a capture profile. A capture profile is simply a collection of all of the options selected for the recording session saved in an individual profile. For more information on this topic, click Help Me Choose to launch a tutorial. Now for this demonstration, we're going to go ahead and select Manual Capture. No matter what capture profile you use, I highly recommend that you take a moment to review the options that are selected for the particular profile that you're going to use. This only takes a few moments. Click Modify to open up the Capture Options window. Here we can verify that we are using Manual Capture for the Manual Capture profile here. Now once you verify the capture mode, go ahead and select the different options needed in the tabs. For example here, in the general tab we can change the introductory delay down to maybe half a second that will be used for the first balloon or note that we put on a slide. Once we set that, we can go ahead and change such things, for example, as maybe the hotkeys that we use. Let's go ahead and click the button for the capture screenshot and change the hotkey to back quote. Then we can change options in the feedback tab and in the mouse tab for example we can opt to use cursor simulation. By doing this we're taking advantage of Carbon's patented cursor technology which will allow us to capture cursor animation during the recording session and we can edit elements of the cursor simulation after the fact while we're editing the project. We can opt to turn it off as well and add it during project editing too. That's how flexible the cursor technology is. And then in advance we can also opt if we want in this case to perhaps capture pop-ups during the recording session. Now once all of our selections are made we go ahead and click OK to apply them. Now we're ready to start our manual capture session. Let's go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, our software is surrounded by a bounding box, so everything inside will be captured. So we need to press our hotkey to capture this first screenshot. And then each time we move, say, our mouse like up over the file menu option, we capture that. Then we're going to go ahead and capture this. We'll use our hotkey to capture that screenshot. We're going to capture this screenshot. We move our mouse. We're going to capture this screenshot here. While we're holding in our mouse, we're going to capture that. We're going to capture that change. While we hover over the mouse or the open button, we're going to capture that. Pressed in, capture that. And finally, we'll press our hotkey one more time to capture this last static screenshot. Now, once we're done, we're we're done with this particular manual capture session. We'll go ahead and end the capture session by pointing our mouse over the icon in the system tray and clicking it and then we're going to click stop to transform or convert our screenshots from the manual capture session into slides inside our Viewlet project ready for editing. And at this point it's probably a good idea to save the project so let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and give the file a name and let's say maybe something like paint demo 01 and then once we do that we click OK to save it and now our manual capture project is ready for us to edit. For more information on this topic or others please visit us online at carbon.com that's q-a-r-b-o-n.com. Happy Vuleting!